Let's talk some presidential politics now. And a story from CNN that caught my eye this morning, and it reads, on the left, Howard Dean opened a presidential bid. Dean, of course, was the early frontrunner in the 2004 Democratic primary race until his on-camera howl following the Iowa caucus, which is still known as the Dean Scream. Of course, when it comes to Democrats in 2016, most people assume the race is Hillary Clinton's to lose if she decides to run, of course. Polls back that up. She leads in every single poll in both the Democratic primary and in the general election. And look, I realize it's very, very early. Iowa and New Hampshire are still two and a half years away. But for all the talk of a fairly weak field of Republican possible candidates, I was wondering who on the Democratic bench is there behind Hillary? Vice President Joe Biden has hinted at a run, but he's got one major problem. He's Joe Biden. <laughs> Other Democrats who have either been mentioned or gotten more than a zero in polling include New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick, first-term Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren, the left loves her, and New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand. And anybody else who you think might be able to make a run if Hillary Clinton doesn't run? I think what Barack Obama proved that anyone has a road to the White House, other than the people who remember his 2004 keynote speech at the Democratic National Convention. I'm not sure anybody nationally knew who Barack Obama was. Um, and so even if it's not an unknown, you have Andrew Cuomo, you have tons of great candidates out there on the Democratic side. So it's, it's really, really, really yeah, early. Yeah, Bill. I say it points to one thing is that Hillary is taking the oxygen out of the she field. She really is. She com completely, where no one else is going to get in there and get some momentum until it's determined whether she runs. I'm going to go out on a limb here. She's go gonna, out on a limb. She's going to run. She's going to run. Here comes the she's going to no, run. No, no, no. I've, been, I've only been saying this for quite some time. That's true. <laughs> but um, in all likelihood, forget running. In all likelihood, Hillary Clinton is the next president of the United States. I mean, now we can, we can have this uh, exercise. It's I see early. my friend over here. We can have this exercise. Uh, but if she doesn't run... Cuomo might be formidable. I don't know if he could win, but this is well, Hillary Clinton I mean, is the next president honest, of the United States. I'm afraid for Joe Biden or Howard Dean. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Joe Please, Biden. Okay. Biden Dean, well, who, who was Howard Dean again? Yeah, right. I mean, what? I, mean I, I love all this talk about Hillary Clinton, but if Hillary Clinton runs for president, she'll be the oldest person to run for president. Her health has to maintain for two and a half years. Plus, she's got this Benghazi issue that is just going to come right back in her face when it happens. I mean, she certainly still has high negatives, so I don't see how she's a guarantee, Dominic, you said, to be the the next president. You're still putting a it. lot of stock in Benghazi. Yeah. It's, uh, and, 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 it's and, and the be an same issue. age argument that I remember Jimmy Carter making against Ronald Reagan. <laughs> which <laughs> his memory serves to not work all that And well. we know yeah. how that played out. Exactly. <laughs> it's, but, I mean, Cuomo's numbers in New York have been falling. Uh, they're, they're not at the peak that they were at. O'Malley seems like he's more of a regional. There's still a lot of time for something to happen and Hillary to decide not to run. Is there, a, is there really a president in that list that I just rattled off? I mean, Andrew, you've been Devolve in this Patrick game a very yeah. long time. Do you really see a scenario after the nomination was hers and this African-American candidate came out of nowhere and took it from her, do you see a possible scenario where she does not run for president? I think she wants to run for president. I'm just, you, you never know what things might know. pop up in two and a half years before the before the first primaries. There's, there's always a tendency, I mean, I remember when, when Ronald Reagan was retiring, everyone said, who amongst these seven dwarfs can mm -hmm. possibly replace him? Or when Rudy Giuliani was term limited, the Democratic and Republican candidates, so it was not just, you know, Mark Green, Freddie Ferrer, Mike Bloomberg, who could any of these guys who could uh, possibly replace Rudy Giuliani. There's always a tendency to think that no one can fill the job that's currently being filled. And you know what? The Republic has survived for 240 years pretty well <laughs> on e doing just that. Not burning, so we were doing yeah. you, you mentioned uh, Ronald Reagan's replacement, and his vice president did go on to win the White House, George H.W. Bush, in, in uh, 1988. When I mentioned Joe Biden, I used a punchline like so many other people do. It, Without a Hillary in the field, could Joe Biden be the Democratic nominee? I don't think there's any possibility. Yeah. I, 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 I hope I, he is. I think. <laughs> I hope he. I mean, I, he may, he may, he may try it, but Joe Biden just kills himself. I mean, it would be, it would be a comedy show yeah. to watch him run for president in a, in a serious way. I mean, he's thrown, he's had it in a number of times, mm -hmm. but it, it would be a comedy show. You know, again, I'm maybe it's because my father was a history professor, my mother was a social studies teacher, but I seem to keep on bringing it back to history, and I seem to remember. Everybody's saying there's no way George W. Bush could be president because he's a punchline and everybody makes fun of him. Yeah. That's a very valid point. A Joe very Biden's valid a punchline. Right, right. But, but I don't think I like but so I don't think George anybody, George Bush, I don't think anybody was so ever was, more of a punchline than George W. Ronald Bush. Reagan was a B movie actor who's everybody talked about bedtime. Well, look, I mean, but, but, well, and, and, but look at George W. He did terrible. George, uh, right. George W.'s opponent was Al Gore. I mean, come on. 
that's one of the reasons he went. Al Gore but, but no, wasn't a lightning rod. But well, also, Al Gore won the, the election. Let's right. talk about oh, that. Oh, there we go. Are we still on that? That's one name I could have put in that list. I don't think he was And then John that. Kerry after that. So you had bad You had bad people. I mean, you go with the person you know rather than you don't know. So those, you had two bad Democratic presidential candidates. All right, we're going to leave it there. Up next, talk of the table. Should people be able to purchase soda with food stamps? Mayor Bloomberg and other big city mayors are calling on congressional leaders to ban the purchase of sugary sodas. Boy, Bloomberg hates sugary sodas. For anybody using food stamps, is that fair? We'll get to that and more next.